Hi, welcome to the demonstration of online table booking system. Restaurants are the most marched business category on the internet and many restaurants now have an option for booking the table online. So here we come up with a system which has a complete package of table reservation and hotel listing. That is two parts and three roles. Android part where the user is able to see the hotels and book a table while in the web part the admin adds a restaurant with its details and in the restaurant part the manager or operator can check in and check out or cancel the booking of the availability. So this is the home page, it says no bookings and it also showed us a toast message telling us to enable our GPS. So let's, so we have used a navigation drawer. So let's start with the first module that is home. Here basically you will see your current bookings. Since there is no booking, it will say book a table. So let's go to the second module that is profile. In profile you will see your name your email id and your contact number where your contact number can be updated next is the cuisine module here you will see a variety of cuisines and if you click on any cuisine this is my current location and if you zoom out you will see other markers which has the restaurant ID and the restaurant name. So this is the map view that I was talking in the introduction. And if you click on the top right uh, list icon, you will see list wise uh, details or minute details about it. that is the hotel logo or icon, its name, city, cost of two, the queues in it provides and on the top right you will see whether it's veg or non-veg and whether it serves alcohol or no so if i go to the first hotel shetty bar and restaurant here i'll see all the details and you will see two kinds of images the top that is the banner image which will show you a slideshow while you can also scroll them the second images are the menu images or any images that you want to show about the hotel or the restaurant these images are directly taken from the server and not database through FTP and there are no reviews here and if you see a map icon just beside the name of the hotel if you click it I'll see the directed map from my location to the restaurant and you'll also see how many minutes it will take me to get there and also the kilometers let's go back and let's see a hotel with uh, re some reviews now okay so this has a review let's go back let's see some more cuisines okay so there are no restaurants for afghani it that is the admin part has not added any restaurants for this cuisine so let's go ahead and book this restaurant so I'll click on reserve it will ask me for the date and time so let's say tomorrow and I want it uh, around 8 pm okay and submit okay so this is the table view now you can select the table you want the table I want let's see I'll book this and proceed so it'll ask me for the booking name so I'll enter my name and book so the table is booked now 
uh, let's go back and let's see the home page now so in this page you will see the bookings that I have for today so since I have booked a hotel or a table for tomorrow so it will not show here but while I can see them in bookings so this is my current booking Shetty Bar and Restaurant that I've just booked so these are my previous bookings and these are the bookings that I've cancelled what is preview booking so this is the sums when uh, I go to a restaurant I check in and after the operator or the manager checks out that this person has checked out from the hotel so some status is updated in the database and in the preview booking that is in this uh, tab I have to enter a review of the hotel and this is cancel booking if I want to cancel any bookings so this is the one that I've just booked so it is asking me whether I have to cancel the booking and these are the reviews that I have given till now so what we will book something for today or I can also show you the tomorrow's booking slot okay so as you see this was the one I booked so it is indicating in red that is I cannot select that so let's go back and let's book something for today okay so this is today's booking that is one and if I go to cancel booking you will see two hotels here also the table numbers will be seen so my booking is for 8 o'clock so what I'll do I'll just quickly change the time so that I'll get a notification one hour prior So as you can see we got a notification here booking reminder and if we click on it it will take us to the home page so this is just it let's log out and I'll show you the login and the sign up page so this is the sign up page and this is the login thank you now let's see the admin part of restaurant management system so here you need to enter the admin ID and password. So once the admin logs in into the system, these are the options available for the admin that is view booking, add restaurant, view restaurant, view users. First let's see the first option that is view booking. Here the admin can view the booking information like the booking ID, uh, the restaurant ID, user ID, and the restaurant name, booking name, date, in time of the user, out time, status of the booking and the number of people that for who this booking is done and the table number and the status that is in or out. Next option is add restaurant. Here the restaurant ID will be automatically generated by the system and you need to enter supply this following information. For example, uh, I am entering this random information. Cost of two. So here you can select multiple options. And the drinks, whether yes or no, and some password. Once you've entered these details, click on add. Okay, uh, here you can select the 
exact location in which this restaurant is situated okay here you can drag this so you can see accordingly the system changes latitude and longitude values okay uh, once you place once you place this click on submit so the system will fill all these details in the database so next option is view restaurant here you can view the restaurant details and along with that you can even delete the information if you want to okay, uh, the details like restaurant id name address contact number and cost of two and the cuisines non-veg drinks all this information is being displayed next option is view users here you can view the information of all the registered users to the system that is the user id name contact number and email id so this is about the admin part now let's log in as a restaurant to the system once it's logged in these are the options available that is add menu and banner view booking check in users check out users so let's first see the first option that is add menu and banner here you can select the images of menus and banners as many images and menu you can select okay that is more than one so once you're done just click on upload next option is view booking here you can view the information of the booking that is booking id restaurant id the user id restaurant name booking name date in time out time status and the number of people for whom the restaurant is being booked and the table number and the status that is in or out okay next option is checking users here you can view the details of all the users that are currently checked in to the restaurant next option is check out users here you can view the information of the users that want to check out so uh, by clicking on this option enter checkout once you click on this option checkout the checkout time will be updated to the current time so this is about the restaurant part thank you